Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in The Sims 4 Laboratory. And yes, we are back with Patches, the Fox Squirrel, because no, I am not done with Patches yet, my friends. I know there's an almost infinite variety of other animals that we could possibly be putting in the lab, but I truly love this little Fox Squirrel and knowing that soon we shall be moving away from Michigan and thus away from the home of the Fox Squirrels does make me feel somewhat nostalgic to reflect upon how absolutely adorable they are. And so today we are carrying on with another Random Pets Genetics Challenge with Fox Squirrels. And today, thankfully, is going to be a really fun one because we are going to be seeing what 10 generations of Fox Squirrel family tree will look like. We did this before with the cow and cow dog family tree in the past. This time around, we are going to snag ourselves a lovely feline right off of the streets and we are going to see what it's going to look like if we have fox babies bred over 10 generations so this will hopefully be fun uh, I'm really hoping that we will kind of carry the coloration or at least a couple of the traits of the foxes as time goes on, uh, but I'm really not sure what the final results could be, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> we might end up with just like a normal looking cat, but that is part of the fun of these random challenges. Even if we came back every time and did the same thing, it would always end up differently. So this time around, we have patches once again, you guys know, look in the video description to find a link to the fantastic custom content by Kalino that made the beautiful ears, the little foxy fingers, little fox squirrely fingers, I should say. Foxes don't have fingers. Uh, and then also the big fluffy tail. So all of those things you can find on Kalino's website. She is amazing. She's very kind. I highly recommend if you love her work please go and tell her about it on Twitter, share the creations that you have made with her. It really makes creators, and myself included, feel fantastic when you kind of share how you have been inspired by their work. And mod creators in particular, oh, I took a few years of coding and I wouldn't be going back myself anytime soon. So I really feel like we just should definitely kind of give that creative boost to our mod creators. So do please be sure to do that. And again, uh, you can find out like where to find it. Like, oh, okay, look, I'm just gonna show you because I feel like I have a responsibility. The Kalinotron here on The Sims 4 is where you can find the squirrel custom content to download, or the squirrel custom base to download. You need to have the custom content installed in your mods in order to have the squirrel. And I colored the fox squirrel a bit myself to reflect what the real patches looks like. May he be adorable for many years to come. But all right, so let's find out who patches 10 generations of a nutty squirrel family tree. Uh, his partner is going to be. So let's find our first cat. We will have uh, a few babies. Let's see, I think, yeah, we'll have a few babies with them. And then I think I'll pick the baby that we want to follow. Does that seem random and fair though? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would be biased and then I would just pick the one that had the really cool traits. So I'm not going to do that. We're just going to have one baby with this beautiful German Rex. What? We already had a German Rex and we already had patches. No, 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 no. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and roll a dice and the sixth cat, the sixth breed of cat is who we will pick. So, oh, but an oriental long hair. Oh, two, three. Uh, this is, this would be two, three four, five, six. And we ended up in a Cornish Rex. We, uh, apparently Patches really likes the Rex cats then. But all right, so this is going to be Patches's mate. We're gonna go ahead and just give her the name Coco. She is going to be very affectionate and friendly because why not? She definitely looks like she could be. I mean, just look at her. Hello, Coco. So Coco, and Patches are gonna have the first kitten. And then we are going to go ahead and see if that kitten will inherit any of the traits that Patches has, the special ears, fingers, and tail, and we will carry on from there. And 10 generations from now, we will see what the results will be. So hang in there, Patches. All right, baby number one, generation number two. Dun, 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 dun! <gasps> yes, we still have the coloration, I am so excited. Welcome to the world, a little a daughter. We're gonna give you the name of, uh, let's see, Tammy. T 
Tammy, and you're gonna be Fox Squirrel too. Uh, there we go. So little Tammy, I think that she's actually quite the prowler like her father. I'm gonna make her clever. And then I'm gonna make her affectionate to those that she gets close to, just like her mother. So all right, let's see what generation two would look like. Oh, this is actually a really cool mix. Oh my gosh. And she inherited everything. Yes. Okay, I rolled my dice. And Tammy here has inherited the big bushy tail. Oh, we're looking good. We're looking good, guys. Gosh, this, this almost feels like investing in stocks or something weird like that, where you can't predict the future, but you just kind of cross your fingers and hope for it. And I'm hoping that Generation 10 will still look kind of like a really cool squirrel. So, all right, thank you very much, Coco. Here we go, guys. We're gonna do this. So there was Coco. Now we have Tammy. And now we just go ahead and play with genetics. So, baby number, here, I'm gonna roll a dice. I'm gonna roll dice. Five, so baby number five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> okay, we still have some of the colors. <laughs> I have no idea who this would be, but we still do have some of the colors. So I think we're doing good here. We have a little boy. Let's go ahead and give him, well, we'll roll twice, cause he's two. Uh, well, actually he's generation three, isn't he? So he is Bandito and he is generation three. Uh, and I think that's how we'll do it. We'll just kind of grab a, it, like we'll use random mixed breed and we'll see what turns up. So I'm gonna make him, I feel kind of like mischievous and a bit of a prowler, but also pretty friendly. Not as affectionate as his mother, but pretty friendly. So Bandito, let's go ahead and see what you look like as an adult. He still has some of that squirrel tail, uh, or that squirrel face. And he actually, come back here, Dice, don't run away from me. All right, so, oh, here we go. Okay. So he actually has rolled to inherit the tail and inherit the fingers. Or, or wait, fingers? No, inherit the ears, but we have lost the fingers. Okay. Hmm. This is getting interesting already. Oh my. All right, so that's generation. Let's see. How many generations can I keep? All right, that's generation three Generation four. Let me roll a dice. Okay, so we're gonna roll one more time And this is gonna be generation four doing pretty good so far I think hopefully we're, we're kind of keeping to the color theme ironically. So one two three four speckles welcome Okay, I'm gonna make you fluffy and friendly and you look a little more lazy than a prowler, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, so there's Speckles. Let's have her grow up. Oh, wow. Okay, and Speckles has actually inherited the, uh, did we get the ears? Yeah, in inherited the ears, but not the tail, unfortunately. <laughs> So by generation four of our experiment here, we vaguely have some of the coloring. We still have quite a bit of the jaw, but we have unfortunately lost both the tail and the fingers. Good to note for our future experiments. All right, Speckles, let me roll the dice. So her fifth kit are we are going to be keeping. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, I think it's safe to say we're starting to really work our way into actual cat territory. Let's make him a prowler and a free spirit. And I kind of want to make him a little territorial too. A little territorial. And then let me roll to see if he inherits those. Oops, there we go. They, no, my ears. We've lost the ears. We have lost the ears, you guys. Oh, it's all over, I think. It's Oh, I didn't even have a chance to give this little guy a name. Oh my gosh. All right, generation five, one, two, three, four, five. Julius, Julius, he's literally lost his tail. He, I, I don't know. I, I, we have really rapidly have already progressed away from all of this, haven't we? Uh, all right, five again. One, two, three, four, five. So, Oh my gosh, they're 
really strict about whoops i grew you up without <gasps> the tail came back i'm gonna say that that is just like randomly blessed from the random like randomization gods so the tail has returned on this child who is going to be generation six one two three four five six mango what a name let's make him frisky friendly and a glutton actually that's just all of the things that the name mango seems to evoke to me uh, and we're actually going to go ahead, I'm going to release Speckles and release Julius for now. So we have room for the last couple generations. But this is interesting because this will tell me if I wanted to try to keep like purebred squirrels in the area, uh, how close or at least like squirrel traits, how many generations away you can get before you're a goner. So by seven. Uh, oh, yeah. OK. Uh, in fact, let's roll the dice again five again apparently <laughs> one two three four five. <gasps> oh my gosh little fox squirrel number seven so one two three four five six seven truman <laughs> hi truman you're not a squirrel anymore you're more like a lazy friendly maybe I think maybe just a teeny bit of a prowler cat. So now we have ended up generation seven. We still have the tail, which I am pretty excited about, but I think we are definitely safe to say we have totally worked our way away from being a squirrel. So I guess we're actually, to get to generation 10, 10 family trees away, that will actually be like in the 11th animal, but that's okay. All right, again, a five, are you kidding me? One, two, three, four, five. Now this is interesting. I feel like we're not getting very far by doing it with an unknown parent because we're not really getting any variation in the traits. I think we need to do it like this. One, two, three, four, five. And I think that might actually help more to do like some purebreds mixed in there. We ran into this problem in our 101 or in our like, uh, pets genetics challenge where we were breeding up 100 animals. We had to stop doing a lot of the actual mixed breed animals because they tend to start veering towards the same sort of generalized look, which is actually very true when you're looking at a lot of mutts uh, and you start carrying mutt generations for too long. So that's interesting. All right. Anyway, this is going to be baby number eight. Ah, oh, my goodness. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Cajun. And I think that you're a little bit aloof, a curious one. And I think that you are still a bit of a prowler too. So let's see what Cajun looks like. We now have lost the tail. We have veered very dramatically away from where I thought we were going. And then this is gonna be squirrel number nine. So nine generations away from patches. Let's do, roll dice. Why is this, are you broken? Five again? <laughs> one, two three, four, five. Ooh, an American long hair. This is so interesting that like you just end up with the same color again and again and again. So this would be the American long hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kipper, welcome Kipper. Hello, this is okay. You know what, I'm keeping the prowler. I think you're also curious and clever. I love the look of your eyes, Kipper. Wow. And this is what Kipper would look like, kind of more or less just like Cajun, the dad. Uh, but then let's finish off on our final, final arrival. In fact, I kind of wish we could go ahead and breed back in the, the squirrel again. Oh, it, five again! Fine. I will accept it. One, two, three, four, five. An oriental short hair and we ended up once again with that same coloration. So may I welcome in fox squirrel number 10. So in fact, I can't even put the 10 in. There we go. Fox squirrel number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bacon. No. Shiloh, I will accept that name, but not bacon. I'm going to have her be clever, a little bit of a prowler, and kind of a free spirit who just likes wander. Well, actually, a little aloof, actually. That's the vibe I'm getting from her. And let's see what Shiloh grows up into. 
<laughs> completely a cat with a little kink tail, no less. So that kind of did not go where I thought it was going to in any like way. I thought we would keep at least some of the traits of our interesting little fox squirrel uh, in the family tree. But as you guys saw very, very quickly, we veered away from looking like a squirrel and we ended up looking like a cat. So if you are worried about adding exotic animals into your Sims 4 neighborhoods and you're like, that's just gonna make everything look weird, fear not and fret not because there is definitely a chance that all of those traits will fade into the distance as the generations carry on. Uh, but if you were like me and you really actually wanted some of those interesting traits to kind of stay in, then you might have to start putting out some bird seed by generation three or four to make sure that you can uh, kind of re-add those things. For instance, if we had had uh, generation three was the last generation we really saw anything, but if I had managed to have another squirrel come back, oi! Hmm, I think Bandito is too closely related to Patches. What about you? Can I crossbreed you with Patches? No, can't crossbreed Mango. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. So it will indeed recognize the children that far out. What about... So by Kipper, we could have started crossbreeding again. And we would have ended up between these two. Oh, wow. How long would it have taken? How many kits would it have taken? So finally... Oh, there, 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 there. Back up, back up, back up. But look at the results! A green-eyed little baby squirrel kit! I would... Here, let's roll the dice to see. Okay, and this one would have inherited the tail and the ears, but not the fingers. So if you actually wanted to try to, to follow these kinds of genetics rules that I do, but breed out the fingers, you could potentially do that too. Because I just rolled, we inherited the tail, and we inherited the ears, but we didn't inherit the fingers. And for me, this is really fun. This is something that I would love to do in my Sims 4 world. Just really try to assign all sorts of extra little additions and challenges to myself, but also make it so I was trying to breed specific traits, specific traits that included what the pets looked like with the modded pet clothing items on to my animals. So this is what we would have had a very beautiful cat squirrel, a very exotic looking in both directions if we had kind of mixed in even one more squirrel into the family tree. So my recommendation, if you like some of these more mm, exotic traits, be sure to leave out some bird seed by generation four and you should be good. But all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. This definitely didn't quite go in the direction that I was hoping for. Sometimes these 10 generation things do, sometimes they don't. But I think that I am not quite done with patches just yet. I have a couple more things in mind. So do look forward to patches and other kinds of animals here in our Random Pets Laboratory next time. If you guys could, do please leave a like to toss a treat for our little experiment. Sometimes they're really, really dramatic and sometimes we learned something new about how we might do things different next time. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, you guys know what to do. But most importantly, guys, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.